Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is God Eater 3 and this is me continuing my playthrough of Monster Hunter inspired or Monster Hunter style games. And this one looks really interesting. So I decided to keep their intro as part of my intro just because it was done so fantastically well. Um, I, I really enjoyed that. I think it actually looked pretty damn cool. So for those who don't know, uh, God Eater 3 is a action role-playing game in a similar vein to uh, things like uh, Monster Hunter and Soul Sacrifice Delta, which are also featured on the channel, uh, created by Bandai Namco. Um, so very much a bit more anime inspired, apparently a lot more story driven as well compared to some of the others that I've been doing. Although what I've been seeing from reviews is the story apparently is a little lackluster. Look so worried. We're not gonna die. I promise you that. Next is PW01408. That's you. aptitude test. Please try to relax. Stage one, inducing ash blight corruption. <laughs> ash blight corruption has been confirmed. Now progressing to stage two, mounting god arc. The process is complete. You are now an adaptive God Eater. So you survived. Grade A. Oh, we haven't seen your kind around here before. How does it feel to give up your humanity? <laughs> Don't go and croak on us, okay? Your life belongs to the port now. You're of no use dead. Here, I'm gonna need you to sign this contract. That's a pretty weird and interesting introduction to the game. So, I have zero context on any of the previous God Eater games. I never really got around to playing them. In fact, I was so confused by this game. I thought that it was related to, I think, uh, what was it called, God Hand on the PS2? Which, apparently, it is not. So, enter name. Code name, uh, I'll keep that the same. Um, do I get to customize? Aha, there we go. Character customization, one of my all-time favorite things in RPGs. 
So once again, I will try and keep this short and rather not spend all my time trying to customize my character. <gasps> yes, a char anime character who cannot see anything. Yes. Whoa, hello. Um, can I zoom out a little bit? Yeah, okay. Uh, that is weird. Um, I totally want to play the game like this, but no. I, I feel like this is going to be too weird. Uh, let's just go with the character who can't see. I like that. Uh, let's go with... Uh, uh, yes, like so. Uh, who cares? I can't see them. <laughs> Um, maybe let's just have a look, see at what that looks like. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. There we go. Accessory A. Uh, do I need a hairpin or frizz? <gasps> Anime hair frizz. Um, interesting. Definitely a couple of very cool, interesting options in this game. Headphones. Yes. Earmuffs. No. Headset. No. Definitely earphones. Uh, I don't want tape on my face, but maybe... Ooh, bandages over the eyes. Yes, maybe that is why the hair... Ah. Hmm. That seems odd, though, doesn't it? Hmm. Face mask, face mask. Face mask, face gear. Maybe face mask one. Yeah, I quite like that. Play voice. Get crushed. Slice time. This is the end. Taking action. Enemy It's up to you. There we go. Perfect. Let's keep it nice and simple. I don't want to spend all of my time in game just trying to sort that out. Come on. Let's go. Hey, you okay? You seem pretty out of it. Bad dream or something? Anyway, rise and shine. I went ahead and asked about our next job. It's in a pretty thick spot. Looks like there's not too much time left for you and me, huh? Fighting in ash this thick will ruin a body in no time. And if we can't work? Well, I doubt the folks at the port will want to look after us. Eventually, we're either going to run out of the bias factor we need to live, or we'll end up as origami snacks or bait, and that'll be that. A time-honored end for ages like you and me. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen to us. I promise. After all, we've got too much riding on our shoulders. We'll keep going for the ones we couldn't save. It's a vow I made to them all. I'm never going to give up, no matter what happens. So, that's that. We are not dying. The two of us will keep moving forward, onto whatever tomorrow brings. I feel like I've made the most emo character ever, and now I am missing out on, like, everything that should be making these cutscenes impactful, because I can't see their eyes. This may have been a mistake, but, okay, let's see, so, hint, character, new outfits, ooh, password feature has been added to assault missions, and new snack missions, interesting, and certification missions have been added. 
We have expanded character customization, part three, burst arts, BA effects, engage effects, acceleration triggers. Oh, so many things. Another devil episode. What? Assault missions. So uh, apparently this game originally came out in 2018 or 2019. So it's been a couple of years. Um, actually, the graphics still actually look quite good. I'm quite surprised. Um, whoa, so much content. So, so, so much content. This is like when I bought... Monster Hunter Generations on Switch and it just suddenly had everything from the last couple of years. Whoa, camera options, challenge the hounds, so, so, certification missions, time attack missions, outfits. One eternity later. Okay, finally through all that. That took forever. Ooh, uh, this feels a little janky. What's up? Uh, can I speak to people? Okay, I can speak to people, but I think the thing that I'm most interested in is gameplay. So I can double check the details on the monitor. They said it's high density ass acclimation. Get prepped to the terminal and we'll move out. This terminal? Or this terminal? That's a monitor. Aha. Uh -huh. Please execute exclamation programs 216 through 234. Aha, so here you can accept new missions. You can also filter the missions by rank, wada wada wada. So this is, due to the schedule operation in high density ash environments, the following personnel are required to complete this program. Here you can choose which allies will escort you. I don't have enough allies yet. Uh, any unforeseen accidents during the mission are your own responsibility. Be extra careful to ensure the guard arcs remain undamaged. Once you accept a mission, you can talk to the guard to head out. But first, loadout. Here you can change equipment, manage consumables, and view the database and save your game. Ooh, and multiplayer co-op. Awesome. So, here you can edit equipment such as the guard arc parts, bullets, and clothing. You can also have equipment sets which is definitely useful. Ooh, <gasps> there's a scythe. Nice, melee, long, buster, boost, charge, spear, variant, biting, edge, and heavy moon, interesting. So short blade, long blade, buster blade, that looks like a great sword. So that's a hammer, charge, spear is like a lance. I am definitely gonna try this first. And then I can't modify, whoa. And here we have guns. And it seems like I have a gun. And I can choose what bullets, edit bullets to bring along on the mission. Blaze and freeze. Oh, and I can do some kind of a shield thing as well. This looks quite interesting. Okay, so this, hmm. What? They don't really tell me what the difference is between each of these. I'm guessing I will figure these things out in time. Ooh, okay, so here we have a whole bunch of clothing that I can use. White mage, black mage, interesting. Okay. So this is some of the stuff that they were talking about that we had unlocked. Revenant, Chimera. That looks badass. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with that. Okay, item prep. So here you can prepare the items you bring along with you on the missions as well as sell unwanted items. Okay, uh, I pre that's pretty much all I have, so. And then I can see more about personal attributes. So personal abilities can be learned by spending the AP and GAP, GAP, earned at the end of successful missions. Up to four personal abilities can be set at one time. Oh, okay. So I have 50 AP. And I take it, I don't buy these. So Oracle Cells regenerates HP over time. Oh, 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 I pay to learn and equip. Uh, interesting. Let's just, okay, let's maybe just start off by giving him 
some recovery. I have no idea how difficult the game is. So let's see. So personal abilities and burst plugins. You can view detailed information on these things. Uh, burst plugin. Okay. Um, so how do I change? Can I change his equipment? I have no idea. But okay, let's try this out and let's see what happens. Oh, he actually has a different name. I should have given myself a name. Don't worry if you don't come back, I can easily replace the whole lot of you. You better not think making a wool either. I refuse to deal with the paperwork. I'm opening the door now. Right, so we are some kind of a prisoner with some kind of a special ability that these guys use to help us fight monsters? Demons? Somethings? I can't see! Where is it? Where's the origami? Our lines are crossed. What team are you with? Requesting salvage! Please! I don't want to die! Forget them. They're already origami, Chow. You've got your own jobs to do, so get to them. Hurry up and let us loose. I am now releasing the restraints on Pennyward Ages Hound 1 and Hound 2. Alright, you dogs. Sick them. I'm limiting your operation area. If you try to do any moonlighting, well, you know what happens. Yeah, we know. Shall we? We'll make it out of this. Man, this looks so cool. I'm very surprised. And acclimate to the Ashlands. Once you've acclimated, return immediately. The fetters will be written off. That is all. Something unexpected might happen. If it does, I'll use my own judgment. Unnecessary combat may result in the loss of God Arcs. Thus, fighting is prohibited. Proceed with tests to confirm effectiveness in high ash density conditions. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I think I'm alright. Okay, so first things first. Can I options? Basic settings. Sound. I think I want to bring the music down just a little bit. Well, you should be fine then. Let's move. The voices can stay on. I like those. That's fine. Just want to bring the music down. So move. Uh, L B B step tutorial Y. I'm pressing the buttons, but it's not doing anything. R T plus A is dive and deploys a shield. All dive. Yeah. Sure. The ones with their wires crossed. Keep a safe distance. Let's play it safe for now. Okay. It's funny how no matter how hairy it gets, I always have fun when you're around. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ground, climb on up. It's always an advantage in a fight. Looking down on origami crawling beneath you feels nice. pretty good too. So that's jump. And so I can jump and apparently I can hang. Okay, ooh, items. Hey, you can't blame me for being curious. Idiots. Still got some stamina? It's easy to get winded this deep in the Ashlands. Okay, so there's a stamina gauge and stuff that I can do with that. Take, 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 take. Thank you. I don't think I want to go down there. I made it through the line. En route to point alpha. All right. We'll clear out the origami in the area. Proceed with caution. You go. I owe you for this. You do not have permission to transmit. Don't make me tell you again. You haven't completed the acclimation program. Proceed with your assigned mission. Set. If we can fight this deep in the Ashlands, who gives a crap about acclimation? You'll be disciplined for insubordination. 
I hope you're ready for that. Sure, whatever you say. Now quit looking over my shoulder. Saying we're fighting in dense ash is enough of an excuse, right? You'll regret this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it definitely it seems like a normal attack and a heavy attack. Very Oh, oh, ow. Uh can I target? Yes I can. Ooh. You seem comfortable enough in a fight. You can fight in gun form too. See if you can transform for me. How do I do this? RB to change forms. Uh I'm holding RB, but it's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm very confused though, so X is that attack, but, and then RB and Y is a combo attack. Oh, so I can change my ammos, but I'm no. You can fight in blade form to restore your supply. Aha. That's how it works. Okay, okay, okay. Come in. This is Hound One. All Aragami eliminated. This is Bull One. Arriving at Point Alpha soon. Thanks a ton. I thought it was a goner this time. Don't give up so easily. Nobody's got time to wipe your nose for you here. Okay. Time to head home and get in our cells. Interesting. I really like the scythe weapon, it is really cool. So the gameplay is really smooth, I quite like that. Let's see, I got 1 GAP and 20 AP, and I did it with a triple S record. Nice. And what did I get? So, I always got that, I got for completing within 10 minutes, complete with 6 plus endurance and victory rewards. Awesome. Yeah, let's override. Don't worry. Everyone made it back okay. A good result for us. We might do as the port folks want. Work ourselves to the bone. Get dragged to hell and back. But that doesn't mean we're willing to give up our lives without a good fight. A place where ages can live out their lives without being controlled or pushed around by anyone. That's what we need, right? took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, ouch! <laughs> the guards went to town on you this time, didn't they? Bet that hurts. You never do as you're told, huh? Bet it's hell getting teamed up with this guy. <laughs> I didn't know you were back from patrol, Zeke. Yep, that's right. All done with my work for today. Listen, man, next time you should come out with me. Come on! I thought you were smarter than that. Having a chance to work with THE Zeke Pennyworth should be enough to make you weep for joy. <laughs> Maybe you should mention how good you are. <laughs> Hugo's always so by the book, it must have been boring out there with him. Come on, I'll show you a real cool trick next time. This isn't a sport, Zeke. Look, I know that. You think I don't know that? Anyway, did you hear the recent news? One of the other teams was saying that a port nearby got swallowed by the ash. That's the first I've heard of it. But it's not exactly news for ports to get engulfed by the Ashlands. Sure, it's no surprise when it's some base somewhere. 
But how will you feel when the ash is creeping closer and closer? Are you talking about an ash storm? Yeah, well, if one of those ash storms does come through, it's not like there's a whole lot we can do other than strap in and pray, right? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Though, even then, riding one out isn't all that realistic. Right, okay, so possibly some new characters being unlocked. I really like... Man, something is so... Something feels weird when I when you try to walk in this area. Is it because it's forcing you to walk and not run? So weird. I just got back and there's already more work waiting for me. I guess you're very good at me. You're always in the mod, you know what I mean, right? Most definitely. Knew it. I'd be happy to teach you my various tricks of the trade. Thing is, there's a problem with my God Arc shield deployment, so I'm benched for now. Ha ha ha. Right, so I can't use him because of reasons. I'm guessing there's more tutorial stuff to do. So that was pretty cool. I want to see. I want to definitely want to try out one of the other weapons. Let's see what looks interesting. Maybe the spear. Ooh, maybe the twin blades. And I did the carbide now, so maybe let's try a shotgun as well, and let's see what the tower wall, plus wall, so let's see what the tower does. Whoa, that is huge. Maybe just the regular. It is just as huge. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So the one thing they haven't taught me yet is how to use items. Let's see now. Got our performance test now takes priority. Please check the details. So standard missions, rank one. Uh, so we did the shield. Uh, we did the D1 certification. So let's do certification D2 through D6 have been removed and revised. Training in various shield deployment actions. Yeah. So these are still all very much. Um, Tutorial based missions, that's the word that I'm looking for. Apparently I'm doing this one with Zeke now, uh, because he was having issues with his shield, it seems. I've had it with people banging up the guard arcs. These things ain't cheap, you know. If they just go MIA, I'd at least save us on some repair costs. Yeah, that doesn't seem good. Apparently if we need these things to defeat the Aragami, why are you being so such a tool about it? Ooh, he uses a hammer. Let's see if the God Arc repairs worked. We can start off with your shield. A good offense is the best defense. But so blocking attacks is a nice way to stay alive. Okay, so this is wait, uh, how did I do that earlier? So this is tutorial. And I still can't quite figure out how to I need to get closer to attack, but apparently I'm having trouble. Let's see, let's block. They won't do you any good if you're dead. Still, there are a lot of items to choose from. Gotta use what's right for the moment, I guess. Okay, so press the start menu and then eh? Okay, oh, no okay. So far. And then got some time, so X to use. There's stuff flying around here and there, right? Pick it up. We need materials these days. Any spoils we pick up outside of our job don't go to the prison. They're ours to keep. If you want to ah, that's what I was looking God for. Arc, which means you need materials. The port manages God Arcs, though, so you can't just do whatever you want with them. Okay, so I was trying to figure out if there's a way to aim down sights. It seems like that is how you do it. You can gather materials from points of light. So I've already done that previously. There's some more over here. And how? Okay, so by R, B, and B is that. How did I do the shield thing? There we go. Let's clean up this mess and go home. Slow me. Okay, so this one doesn't seem to have any charging attacks that I can do. Oh, there we go. 
Interesting. So my charging attack didn't work previously, but there it worked now. Hmm. And I can't. Can I take that? Yes, I can. So was not incapacitated. So getting some stuff. Ooh, first time rewards. Blueprints for new weapons. Interesting. Very interesting. The upgrade craft option is now available and I can do that from the terminal. Okay, so very much instead of having a village hub, it seems I just have this terminal in the middle of the room that I can use to do things from. So, upgrade craft. You can use the materials from missions. Let's craft a new melee weapon. I think this is, is this better than the one that I have? Yes, it seems like there are new ones. So I have that one. Now I can craft this one, the crescent. Okay. And I can make twin blades instead of the amet twins. And I can do a heart taken instead of an amet scythe. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then I can also upgrade. So this is very, very much the standard Monster Hunter formula. So I am very curious about what this ring weapon is. So let's have a look at that one for my next mission. And I think currently distributing the missions to all relevant members. Please wait a moment. So maybe let's talk to people. Did you hear another age has gone mission? Missing sent out on the missions while still wounded. Nothing but tools in their eyes. There's nothing we can do. Even so, we're alive. Where there's breath, there's hope, you know? I won't just lie down and die. Okay, thanks for helping me fix up my god arc. I really appreciate it. Nothing works like a dream. I was so awesome. I can fight for me and the kids again. We gotta do our best. Damn right, we can't fight. It's bad news for everyone. And if that's the case, the kids will be up next. They aren't really fighters, you know? The power that powers that be want to cut down on the number of kids that can fight because it costs money to keep them and really pisses me off. Um, do I have to upgrade something to be... I probably need to upgrade just as part of the tutorial. I can't upgrade. Um, can I craft? Oh, interesting. You can craft new outfits as well. New guns, new shields. Okay, never mind. The field test covering the God Ox special features has been assigned. So let's see, I think maybe let's make this the last mission for this video, just to get an idea of what this looks like. And this is using the adaptive God Eater's abilities to use their God Ox devour form in combat. I think I've actually done this already. Uh, I think that is the charge attack that I was using earlier in the game in my which I did in the first mission I believe <sighs> I did not read anything that man had to say because I already do not like him and do not care whoa this weapon man this game is so anime come with me Devour form is the God Ark's most distinctive feature. We're off to do a field test of it. God Eaters can devour origami to temporarily enhance our abilities. We call the effect Burst. If you use it wisely, you can flip a dire situation on its head. Come on. Okay, picking up stuff is really hard because... Uh... Man, having your dodge button and your pick up button the same ooh, seems weird. Like, I keep dodging when I'm trying to pick stuff up. Whoa, hello. And don't forget, you can pick up materials by devouring dead origami. You need materials to upgrade God Arc parts, and you have to supply them yourself. Okay, on to burst arts. Here's where today's real work begins. Burst arts are techniques that can only be used while you're in burst status. 
Only ages have the number of Oracle Cell Bonds to perform them. Devour in Aragami, enter burst status, and then unleash a burst start. Keep that cycle in mind as you fight, okay? Let's do this. Okay, so... I take it this is my burst? No. I am still not hitting him. This thing takes so long to charge. No, I didn't use my attack. Just what I expected. That was disappointing. And they'll grow in power. But some people say that makes you more origami than human. Honestly, though, in most normal people's eyes, we're already monsters. Okay, that's enough for now. There are a lot of different burst starts. Practice them when you've got the time. I don't feel like I actually did my burst art there. I'm not entirely convinced I got the gist of that tutorial. First Arts, Carnage Moon. The Burst Arts option is available and you can configure these as part of your loadouts. So this game is definitely interesting. Looks like everyone's gone to bed. I hope they can at least have some pleasant dreams to enjoy while they're sleeping. It gets so quiet at night. So, how's the new density level? Well, I guess knocking Aragami around is fun when you're in the moment, but if there are still survivors out there, well, then it was worth fighting. It's a small thing, but I don't want to sell my soul and lose my freedom to act according to my own will. I guess it seems kind of funny. We might die tomorrow and leave nothing behind, but I'll keep waiting. Someday, a path towards something new will open for us. An ash storm, huh? That was a weird transition that seemed like that came out of nowhere. And there's a new person that I can talk to. But I think this is probably going to be where I call this episode. This was interesting. It hasn't gripped me as much as Soul Sacrifice Delta did. The gameplay is really cool. It's a lot. It's, it's quite fast paced. It's very fast paced compared to Monster Hunter, much more akin to Soul Sacrifice in that sense. The game is very much anime. The weapons are ridiculous, but I kind of like that. It's um, I um, well, I love animes, so unsurprisingly, that looks pretty cool. Um, but with that, I think this is probably a good place to call it. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if you're interested in seeing more of this. Um, right now, I'm not too intrigued. I'll probably just keep this on my backlog. But if others are interested, then yeah, I think I'll do. I'll put some more content on. So with that, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.